Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and you're watching Economy Bites. chocolate chunk banana bread. Like once you buy bananas and then you forget to eat them and, you, and they get mushy and black and gross, throw them in the freezer, make banana bread. When life gives you bananas, make banana bread. So about $22 for a big, delicious loaf of banana bread that's gonna last just all week long. Today in my hot ass kitchen, I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 325 degrees. Oven is now preheated. And now I'm going to take out of the freezer three ripened bananas. These are bananas that I had because I bought at the grocery because I like bananas. They got overly ripe, you can see they're nice and dark. If they were even blacker than this, that'd be better. Like the darker, grosser they can get. So we're just gonna put these out here to thaw for a minute. I'm going to combine a stick of butter with a cup of sugar and I'm going to cream them together. Could use a mixing bowl if you'd like for this, but this is relatively simple so I don't really feel like getting it out, then cleaning the things, making a whole deal out of it. This is obviously not the pastry chef way to do it, but it will do. This is for all you people who don't have a KitchenAid mixer or a knockoff KitchenAid mixer. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is just get my hands in here. My hands are clean, I have washed. This is what they mean when they say homemade, handmade. This looks like a ball of dough now. One at a time with skin and egg. No shells. Till it's all nice and incorporated. Makes the dough kind of elastic-y. Then my second egg. Set it aside. We're going to mix together our dry ingredients. I have moved my flour into a little canister like this because the flour and the little paper bag is so hard to deal with. It always makes such a huge mess. Two cups. And now we're going to put in a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder and about a teaspoon of salt. Oh, that's sugar. Unless you're using kosher salt, in which case you wanna do like half a teaspoon. And in a separate bowl, I'm going to take my ripened bananas, run them under some hot water. La 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 la. I'm going to use a knife to slice open the banana peel. Ooh, there's steam rising off these bananas because they're changing temperature. Science. Each banana I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna chop it up. I'm gonna make sure to get the full peel off here. Now I'm gonna use a potato masher, which has really become one of my favorite kitchen appliances. But you could also use a giant fork or a spatula. We're just gonna mush these. To our bananas, we are going to add a tablespoon of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now I'm just gonna use a regular old spoon. Mix that stuff all around. La la la. Everything's nice and mushy in there. Take my eggs, butter and sugar, add my bananas, vanilla, milk, and cinnamon. Little by little, I'm going to add in my dry ingredients. I have really come to love to bake. And it wasn't always that into it because I'm not that good at following instructions. I rose to the challenge. And it's okay for this batter to be chunky because the bananas just are pretty chunky and it tastes good that way. And last, but not least, I'm gonna take a bag of chocolate chunks, toss them all in here. You can use as many or as little as you like. I like it to be pretty darn chocolatey. Well, I like the chunks as opposed to the chips. They, I don't know, I just like them better. Just a personal preference. I have these two loaf pans that I bought at the grocery store. They were 50 cents each. The grocery had either two small ones or one huge one that I think is gonna to be too big. If you have your own loaf pan, I suggest you use it. Butter up the sides so that it doesn't stick, so we're not filling it too, too high. So now we're gonna stick these in the oven, 325 oven for 45 minutes, and then we'll see what they look like. So it's been 45 minutes. Let's take our banana loaves out of the oven. Ooh, they look perfect. Ooh, look at those beautiful chocolate chunk banana loaves. Ooh, ah, ooh, mm, mm. Let these cool for 10 to 20 minutes. You could eat it for breakfast. You could have it as a snack in the middle of the day. You could have it for dessert. Any way you eat it, it's a nice little treat. Gonna last you from Sunday to Thursday. I'm Allie. I'll, wait, how do we do it? Sorry, this should I should have done this before I did the dry ingredients. This is Allie telling Daniel to make a note of it while you're editing to put this part before I do the dry ingredients, okay? I burned myself. <laughs>